The Teachers Service Commission is facing another hurdle from the teachers representatives in NAT after the push for salary increment was ignited. <laughs> NAT Secretary General Colin Sayo said the CBA of 2021 to 2025 between teachers and the Teachers Service Commission must be honored as the teachers grapple with high cost of living. The infl inflation rate at the moment does not allow that we do several boardroom meetings with the employer, the government agencies and even friends of teachers without mentioning the aspect of getting a monetary gain to our respective teachers. This time round, we put it squarely and barely that teachers have a reducible minimum demand that the CBA 2021-2025 be reviewed to earn teachers' money. NAT Secretary General Colin Sayo said teachers are now pushing for the 60% increment. Two weeks ago, the TSC and Teachers Union retreated to Naivasha for a possible review of the CBA, among other issues. We are reminding SRC of the same. All these factors were diagnosed in our Naivasha retreat with the employer, and we agreed to table a 60% salary review for teachers immediately. I trust and believe that the teachers of Kenya can begin our conversation from this standpoint. The conversation, as I speak now, is about 60% salary increment. We have commenced and structured negotiation process with the employer to see to it that the percentage that is 60% rise is awarded to teachers. According to NAT, President Huru Kenyatta announced a salary increment for civil servants during Labor Day celebrations, proof that the country's economy has recovered from the COVID-19 pandemic shocks. Or you say there are over 60,000 teachers with additional qualifications such as degrees, masters and PhDs, and they deserve to be promoted. This comes as Education CS George Magoha dismissed claims of misuse of funds in his ministry. Do you think government money will be stolen under my watch? What the hell do you think I'm doing here now? All those questions that were asked by the Auditor General, and of course the Auditor General is entitled to ask questions, because that's his job. All those questions were satisfactorily answered.